what is music without pedals? It's like asking what is cooking without spices, I think. You're missing out on 50% of the fun of playing electric guitar if you're not using pedals. I've always been more drawn to electric guitar than acoustic, and I think a big part of that is just the range of sounds that you can get and just the ability to take a box and totally change your tone. Uh, so I'm just gonna take this patch cable coming out of the overdrive, plug it into the input on the distortion, I'm gonna plug this power cable in here and the output going to the metal in here. I'm gonna connect my guitar to the board right here at the input. So this is the input of the first pedal in the signal chain. So then we're gonna take this cable and we're gonna plug it into the end of the signal chain here in the reverb and then this end into the amp if you're writing a song, sometimes something just comes out differently when you have a different sound. For me, they've always just been a way of getting another level of expression. It's a, it's a tool, it's like another color. When we did the first series of pedals, this series of pedals, I think we did them in 2018, they're feature laden. There's lots and lots and lots of sounds in these things. And all of this series of pedals were kind of intended for players who are maybe pretty deeply experienced. So when we started to work on the hammer tones, the idea was it's still super rugged, the parts quality is really high still, the circuits perform really well, they're well behaved, but they're a lot simpler. If you're a pedal player or if you're a non-pedal player, this is a great place to start. Having launched the first line of pedals pretty successfully, and then we did a whole bunch of them, I think it's 28 or something, 29, something like that. We wanted to get into a little bit more of an approachable kind of space. We started kind of working with the ID. We knew there were things that we wanted to change from the first series. We wanted to do top-mounted jacks rather than the side-mounted jacks from the first range. I really like the form factor of this enclosure. It's a little bit taller, so it gets the foot switch a little closer to your foot, which makes it a little bit easier to hit. These knobs harken back to the late 60s for Fender. So it's a little embossed, you know, injection molded F in the top of the cap. These would be like a miniature version of the same knobs you'd find on a Fender blender. The knobs, the knob color, the paint color, uh, the LED color all kind of coordinate. So there's some little ID touches that are subtle but fun. We wanted to create pedals that would be at home on any board you could imagine. These are metal enclosures, they're metal jacks, they're top mounted jacks, they're actual solid shaft pots and metal switches. So it's something that could live on a pro pedal board, it's roadworthy. These wanted to be rugged and durable, they wanted to be small, they wanted to be super easy to operate and clear. So one thing we didn't do is cram a ton of controls on it, which is why some of them have trim pots on the inside, just for things that you might want to get to, but not all the time. I will say, Having gotten very deep into the pedal world uh, over like the last 10 years, you know, there's something to be said for the simplicity of three knobs, no stress, plug it in, and I, I mean, I can figure these out in 30 seconds. Yeah, you mentioned we didn't give you manuals, but hopefully you didn't need them a whole lot. I didn't need, I didn't need one manual. There's no homework to do on these. It's really plug and play, set it and forget it kind of thing. All right, we got this fuzz pedal. I got an octave on. We definitely shot for getting the standards of the effects world. You know, we wanted to cover all the bases there. You know, you have to have distortion, you have to have overdrive, you have to have a fuzz, delay. With the Hammer Tone series, we did nine pedals. Four of them are analog, five of them are digital. Uh, the four analog pedals are fuzz, which is kind of a traditional silicon transistor, old school fuzz with some fun tone shaping stuff in it. It has an octave up switch. <laughs> Uh, we did an overdrive pedal. This is the first overdrive pedal we've done since we started doing the new series of pedals, you know, this series of pedals. We did a distortion pedal that's more intended for like rock playing, uh, good kind of lower gain to mid gain tones. And then we did a heavier version of it uh, called the metal pedal that's maybe for more old school metal players.
Then we did five digital pedals, and the digital pedals were a couple of modulations, a couple of delays, and a reverb. So on the modulation side, there's a chorus. The chorus can be one, two, or four voices. We did a flanger, and the flanger has a bunch of different flange modes, which are fun. And then we did two delays. We did a single, like a typical digital delay that can also have an analog and a tape model in it. And then we did a multi-head delay, like an old tape echo kind of thing. And then lastly, we did a digital reverb. There are a couple of connections, like a couple of cousin relationships. The digital pedals use the same processor as like the marine layer or the, the dual marine layer. The metal pedal and the distortion kind of have some tendrils that go back to the full moon and the pugilist. Otherwise, everything else is kind of uniquely its own thing. All right, Nick, so you're the guy in the guitar store and mom's coming in. She's asking what pedal to get her kid for Christmas. Which one are you recommending? Was the kid good this year? Like, <laughs> Absolutely not. Not? Mm, <laughs> shoot. Miss, we need, you need to send, I need to send you home with two pedals, okay? First, we have to go just classic distortion because he's gonna plug this thing in and he's gonna just feel like a rock god. And then I'm gonna insist you take a delay pedal. Not the space delay, we're gonna go classic, just delay. There's lots of fun stuff you guys will get into, and um, I think you'll really enjoy that. I hope I see hammer tone pedals on pedal boards all over the world. I'd love to see them on stage, but I also would love to see folks using them in their bedroom. Kids who are just getting into pedals, uh, starting out with these pedals, that would be so awesome. I hope these pedals appeal to people that have never used pedals before. Um, I hope this is a great starting point for people who are like, wow, I want to kind of branch out my sound or kind of grow a little bit, find a little bit more of an expressive voice. But I also hope that the hardcore functionality of them, that they just are really well behaved and fairly simple functions, I hope that appeals to players that have been using sophisticated gear for a long time.